and welcome to another Cool Otis 1, 2, 3 video. Today is a very, very special video because it's my 25th I've ever put on. So, start the celebrations, get me confetti cannon. There you go. And one of these wee popper things that I can never get to work. Apart from now. Okay, right. Um, I've also had to... Um, Got a new section in my video where I'm going to give a special mention. This time it is to Matthew Watson and Callum Buddy, um, who asked me to do it at school. Um, okay, if you want to be mentioned on a Cool Otis 1, 2, 3 video, all you need to do is just um, post it to my wall and um, give out some um, details of what you want me to see. They just gave their names, so that's all I've said. Okay, um, right. Two different magazines here. I've got Doctor Who magazine, da da, and Doctor Who Adventures, da da. Right, this one is the more comic, or child-based one with posters and different facts and different things that you can do and some little comics and stuff. Um, it also has different competitions and. These TARDIS scanner things, the Doctor and different posters like that one, things that people have drawn and sent in, like the Simpsons comic, um, and puzzles and uh, subscribe stuff and all the products and um, next week's edition. And on the back, just a huge big advertisement normally for DS or Nintendo. So. That is Doctor Who Adventures, gives you quite a clear picture on the front of what it's about. Got some cool comics, new episode previews, awesome posters, and speech bubbles. Um, so, um, yeah, another big advertisement there. The cast and crew, and all the stuff that they have um, in the magazine. Okay, so next we move on to... Ta -da, the Doctor Who magazine. This one is not a really child friendly one. Um, starts off with quite a cool poster -y advertisement the front and DVDs you can buy. Um, and then it moves on to um, stuff that you find inside the magazine just like the other one with different page numbers and um, characters and stuff. Um, as you can see by this magazine already, it's got quite a lot of text in it, which is quite fun to read, because it's very entertaining. Um, some good pictures, and advertisements for other programmes, which is something I don't particularly like, but I suppose you're going to have to get that. Um, yeah, uh, uh, how it is on the TV charts there. That's it in red. Doctor Who BBC One is coming at 11 with the X Factor at the top, obviously. Um, so, more writing, some pictures, a wee comic strippy thing there. Um, another advertisement for a, a programme. Uh, this time it is Torchwood. Um, let's flip a couple of pages here. Um, the Cyberman, that's the next week's episode, and some information on last week's one, I think it was two weeks ago actually, yeah, um, and yeah, that's more or less it, <coughs> um, it's got all of the characters, that's a huge big sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, squad almost, with all the people that are in it, um, including Alex Kingston, who plays River Song. Um, so, uh, that's the one about Let's Kill Hitler, again, more on River Song, um, and some comics. As you can see, these comics are longer than the last ones. That would be how many pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 pages long comic. Um, some products you can get, collectors, items, and stuff. Um, there we go, more writing on news and stuff. Um, past episodes, still past episodes, there's an old Cyberman. Might be of interest to people. Here's the one about, I don't remember the title, which I, oh, Night Terrors it's called. Um, and it's more on Night Terrors. And a bit on The Girl Who Waited. Uh, it's got some more product advertisements. A couple of wee comic strips there. Nothing much else when you get more to the back. Um, a wee crossword for you, just like the puzzle section in the other Doctor Who. Um, uh, and... Yeah. Um, we sing on Elizabeth Sladen, who recently died. And... Yeah, that's, uh, that's more or less it, basically. Um, another advertisement in the back, just like this magazine, but this time it's not of Nintendo, it's of the Doctor Who Experience in London, where you can actually go inside the TARDIS and all sorts. Um, quite a nice layout on the front page there. Um, not as crowded as that. Um, which I think is nicer and a lot less huge big massive posters and advertisements and lots of games. Um, this one is thicker than this one. Uh, I'll just try and work it out. 79 pages this, no wait, 81 pages, 82, 83 pages basically. And that comes out, I think it's every week and it's the Number one top selling sci fi monthly magazine. Just try and focus that in. So, uh, that's my review of the Doctor Who magazine and Adventures comic. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.